self-love meditation practice. Today, to begin with, I would love to lead you into a state of self-love. Maybe you haven't felt the love in your heart before. So let us begin by calling in our own circle of empowerment, our spirit guides and angels and our higher selves to help us take this journey. If you can visualize a beautiful circle of light, around you whatever color light that you like I want you to envision it see, sense, feel, envision imagine whatever works best for you and then I want you to feel that circle of light envelope you, come down through the crown of your head, moving down through your third eye, your chin, your cheeks, your jaw, your neck, your throat, down to your heart. Visualizing that beautiful circle of light, moving down into your belly, your abdomen, your hips, all the way down to your feet. And as this circle of light flows through you, it relaxes. It's like a beautiful relaxation almost like a liquid, a golden liquid light. It relaxes. So as this relaxation fills your body, I want you to scan your body, relax, and go a little bit deeper. Different people will feel different types of energy. You'll see different colors, get different sensations. But I want you to really connect with that metaphysical reality around you, what's outside of your physical human body. Feeling safe in your safety sanctuary of the heart that is inside you. Feeling safe knowing that you are a sovereign soul. And I welcome you to visualize your guides and angels around you. We're going to call in White Buffalo Woman in the North. We welcome her as a mentor, as a friend, as a goddess. And then we're going to ask Hathor, who is an Egyptian goddess, known as the goddess of love. We're going to call her in the east to come be a part of us today. And then we welcome Green Tara in the southwest. And then in the south, we're going to call in beautiful Mother Mary. Feel her loving presence, feel her loving arms around you. And in the Southwest, we're going to welcome Mary Magdalene and Jesus, the incredible teachers of divine love. And in the West, we welcome Kuan Yin. And in the Northwest, we welcome beautiful Holy Seraphim, Sophia. the angels of the highest order. And in the center of your circle, I want you to invoke that beautiful Holy Spirit that is connected to you, your own higher self. 
your own Holy Spirit. And you may feel that beautiful light of your own Holy Spirit, of your higher self, just flooding your consciousness from your crown all the way to your root, all the way to your feet, that beautiful waterfall of light and divine love that your soul already is in this world. May you allow yourself to be baptized by that flowing waterfall of light now, flowing down the back of your head, over your eyes, slowly moving down your neck, blessing your heart, giving your heart this beautiful baptismal energy of your own soul and spirit, your own soul's divine love, feeling the radiance of your soul flowing all the way down through your solar plexus, your womb, your sacral chakra, root chakra, and just flushing out your legs. As you do this, you are reestablishing that conscious connection to the heart of Mother Earth who loves you, loves you, loves you so, 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 so much. And the feeling, just feel the feeling, the presence of all of your guardian angels, all of your spirit guides also coming to join in this circle of empowerment to support your highest and brightest experience of self-love today. And I also want you to invite those of you who are open to feeling your own angel wings around you. I, I call you to allow your angel wings to unfurl. Expand this spiritual being that you are in such a profound way here today. I want you to open and expand and feel Feel with the muscles of your back, like feel your angel wings, your energetic angel wings truly unfurl, fold out in the back of your heart chakra. If you can't envision it or feel it, imagine it. Anything that we can imagine exists. There are spiritual benefits in allowing ourselves to have these etheric angelic wings that we can open up. It brings more of your own light and your own soul to the places in your body that need it. It increases your self-love because when you accept who you truly are, when you acknowledge to the angelic, sovereign, divine light that you bring this to this world through you. You start to value that divine, sovereign love. You start to value your own energy and your own heart. You start to value yourself. You start to value your willingness to show up at this level, which also starts to create sacred boundaries about how others are allowed to treat you. Because so very often, earth angels, which if you are listening to this meditation, you are an earth angel. Don't doubt that, but so often, earth angels 
Our light often invokes the transformation of others, even without us saying a single word. Sometimes that can also create some incredibly complicated and sometimes painful experiences of people reacting to your light. It is definitely not your fault. You're simply being an angel in their presence. And that much light and love, they might not be ready for yet. So sometimes they become triggered. And one of the things that helps you and helped me on my journey of self-love was accepting that this part, this angelic aspect of divinity was quite active in me and quite active in those that were attracted to the work that I do. That's you. And the more I started talking about activating my angel wings, the more feedback I got from clients feeling that they were really relieved to finally identify with this part of themselves too. So in this, we fully are accepting who we truly are in order to nurture, to love, and to respect our own divine heart. Because the more you love and respect yourself as an angelic human, the more that you get out of your reality, your reality begins to shift and magnetize to more loving and kind reflections and mirrors of that grace. So that we bring into this world so much love. And I would love for you to really feel that truth of all of that. I want you to really, really, really feel that. Feel your energy ramping up. And then go deeper into your own journey. Let's connect when you, with your journey of inner child healing and empowerment and releasing the past fully so that you can fully allow the present moment in as well as the blessings from the future. What are you healing from your past today? What is coming up for you? And how do you bring love to this part of yourself? Many of us are having situations come up lately that show us where we're needing more support, where we're still feeling unworthy of love, because of what we have experienced. And in that, we call in Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary to bring that quantum healing to us. And then we call in the angel wings of Isis. And I want you to allow these beautiful teachers to help you visualize your own angel wings wrapping around the aspect of your inner child. It's very powerful to wrap your own angel wings around your own inner child and I want you just to envision yourself doing that. Whatever colors you see radiating from your angel wings is what your inner child needs at this time. When your inner child needs more love and needs to receive more love to be able to show up in all of your relationships, you can use this can use your angel wing 
to bring so much more overflowing love because you know that when we are loving ourselves first and foremost, there is such an overflow from that self-acceptance and that self-honor and that self-respect, the valuing of our own hearts that allows us to value and respect and accept our loved ones exactly where they're at as well. So I welcome you once again to just visualize calling upon your higher self, your angel wings, angelic part of you to bring that presence of the Divine Mother and the Divine Father which is the source of light, the creator, the creatures of all life. Whatever name you call, God, Source, Sophia, all names are welcome here. Whatever makes your wings unfurl, this is the source of all love. Agape, love, romantic love, parental love, friendship love, the love between those who co-create something beautiful in the world together. So I want to just welcome this presence here right now of divine love into this space to fall fresh upon each and every single one of you to feel the wings of divine love refreshing your ears, cleansing your chakras, Feeling the radiance of that love, that beautiful, soft, divine mother's love filling your heart. And maybe it even begins in your, it's a spin in your heart. Maybe you're feeling your heart chakra open wider than ever before. And I want you to welcome that. I want you to allow that beautiful pink light of the Divine Mother to begin to fill the places and spaces within you that need support and feeling more love for yourself. I welcome you to allow the angelic part of yourself to receive this blessing today. Really letting that come in. And then as that's happening, we're going to ask the masculine aspect of God to come in and bring that divine light to the back of our heart. To raise the etheric wings up really high. I want you to feel a pretty big set of muscles back there on the back of your wings, your angel wings. They can be angel wings. Maybe you're somebody who likes butterfly wings or fairy wings. There's nothing right or wrong here. I just want you to feel your wings. Feel your soul. Your soul is going to reveal to you in this moment the depth. the color, the nature, the feeling of identifying your wings. I want you to feel all of the love coming in, connecting with you, allowing your imagination to reveal to you what your consciousness is ready to love and accept and take you higher to today. So in the spirit of divine love, surrounded by the grace of the ascended masters, the archangels, your guardian angels, and most importantly, the presence of your own holy higher self, we invoke the beautiful presence of your inner child to reveal to you 
where you need love most? What age? Just know, be very, very present. This is a beautiful moment of healing here and you're being very vulnerable and your inner child is being vulnerable with you. So I call you to just visualize opening your arms up to your inner child once again, bringing them in for a hug with those angel wings. Feel your inner child just bury his or her face into your heart. You might feel the presence of your inner child leap into your arms. And I want you to say, hello, I love you so much. I would love to give you a hug in my angel wing. I would love for you to feel so loved and adored and cherished in this moment. And then feel your angel wings wrap around this beautiful inner child. And I want you to visualize the color pink, the healing color of pink. So from your angel wing feathers, I invite you to feel the radiance of this beautiful divine mother, divine ray of mother's pink light and compassion and love, loving kindness, filling up your inner child with this beautiful healing pink glorious light. Feel the transmission of divine mother's love flowing from your heart to your inner child's heart. And notice how your inner child might start to soften. You might start to want to cradle your inner child in your wings. Beloved Mother Mary is now stepping forward. She's saying, visualize this beautiful, beautiful moment with blue, like a starry blue healing energy surrounding your inner child with this beautiful starry blue energy. And in this moment, you're connecting to your inner child with their true legacy of love. It's a reconnection. Although you're having a human experience, your soul comes from the stars. And when we remember that, we feel a great deal of love for the journey. We've been willing to take a great deal of inner love for the willingness of our heart and the courage and the bravery of our inner child to choose to come here to earth from the stars as an angel here on earth. And I want you to feel that. I want you to feel how special you are and the special blessing over your inner child today. Pull in an amethyst purple beautiful ray of light emanating from your wings, joining your angel wings with your inner child, broadcasting that healing light of rose pink, plebeian blue, and now the gorgeous violet ray from my sister's heart and wings to your inner child, and this is to honor the creative genius of your inner child. To honor that innately creative thinking of your inner child that knows how to love others in unique and spontaneous ways beyond expectation. Beyond any kind of exchange. The love of your beautiful phoenix child, your inner child, is always, always going to be pure, genius, angelic, like this holy, pure, divine light 
your invincible innocence that we talk about. This is what I want to invoke within you. And I want you to remember that this is the truth of who you are. No matter what is arising to be healed or loved or empowered within you today, you are very supported. Your ability to accept who you really are, the gifts that you've come here to bring to this world, and to celebrate the creative genius of your inner child, and to just Invite your inner child's essence, that beautiful essence, to feel safe in his or her creativity and how they want to love you and also love the world, to love their loved ones today. There's a part of you that wants to come forward and experience love, giving and receiving love through the eyes of that inner child, through that very pure place that moves our consciousness beyond the wounds, beyond the stagnations of the past, and brings us fully present into joy. So we're going to close this healing session today. We welcome the presence of that Divine Mother's Grace and the Divine Father's Grace this beautiful white iridescent holy light and the primordial black womb transmission of the Divine Mother and the Holy Father falling fresh upon each and every single one of us unifying our consciousness our angelic consciousness our higher self consciousness our human awareness our inner child's innocence that consciousness of that inner child bringing us into a united field that all of these parts of ourself can exist within oneself and through that divine love of the Holy Mother Father God we are united within our soul's light we are affirmed that this indescribable feeling of how much we are loved by that which created us and we carry that love out into the world today both for our own hearts and for the hearts of others thank you angels for practicing the self-love healing with me I wish you so much love so many miracles of both self-love and unexpected joys and receiving and giving love today in new ways with your partner with your friends with your community with your co-workers I send you away with a beautiful blessed day wherever you are in the world all my love to you God bless you